Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, I'm great. <laughs> hey, that's fantastic that you are great. That's very beautiful. I am very happy to see you again, to see everybody in the class. And Thank for you. sure to have the opportunity to, to share a moment of learning. Welcome Linda, Carlita, Mr. Luis, Martita. Welcome to the class. Hi teacher. Hi. Okay, okay. Let me see, I am going to open my presentation and we will start. How was your day? How was your day, my dear students? Very good. Teacher. It was very good. What activities did you do today? Um, uh huh. <laughs> think about the activities, think about the verbs of the activities that you did. I went to the supermarket. Uh huh. I went to the, with my daughter. Okay. What else did you do? You went to the supermarket, you went out with your daughter. Uh huh. When you when you say I went, it's like the past tense of go, right? You cannot tell me I go to the supermarket because that is a simple present. But as something already happened during the day, you tell me I went. I went to the supermarket, I visited my family, I cooked, right? But that is something that you are going to learn a little bit later, but it's important. If in any case, si de repente ahorita ya se van consiguiendo ahí van siendo un poco más curiosos, van buscando como los verbos en presente, pasado y pasado participio, cuando los utilicen, no les va a costar porque ya los van a conocer, así que mi recomendación es que empiecen ya a buscarlos el problema de los verbos a veces es la pronunciación, es la que más nos cuesta pero eh, si los vamos buscando desde ya, cuando ustedes lleguen a principiante 3 en dos módulos ya los van a conocer ahí les, de, ahí les dejo el tip para que ya los vayan conociendo. ¿Por qué? Porque en, en qué? En unos dos meses los van a ocupar. Y sí. si ya los conocen, es mejor que los conozcan desde ya para que los vayan practicando y, este, y los puedan tener. Y che, dígame. ¿Y usted no tendrá alguna lista de los verbos que nos la comparten en el grupo? Qué lindo momento. <risa> <risa> Tengo un montón, pero gracias ahí que la pide linda. Eh, y sí, ya les iba a decir, yo les voy a compartir unas cuantas que tengo. Tengo eh, una lista, o sea, de verbos solamente irregulares, solamente irregulares, y tengo una que es muy útil, que están los verbos irregulares divididos por categorías, donde están los que van con GHT, los que van con eh, cierta determinación, entonces ahí se lo voy a pasar para que tengan el, el detallito. No, no para cuando lleguen ahí a aquel nivel digan, ah, ya los tengo, ya, no voy a entrar a esa clase, no, <risa> sino que para que ya los conozcan. Y sirve porque, por ejemplo, cuando yo digo todos los días, how was your day, what did you do today, and you can share, you say like, I cooked, I cleaned my house, I played with the dog, I showered the dog, I, Watch um, TV. I watched TV, I did homework, I practiced English, right? But you have the, the different verbs for you to share, right? And now, in different activities, in normal activities, what activities did you do during the day? Tell me, who cooked uh, food? Did you cook today? Yes, yes. I do. Yes, I did, you say, but because it's past. Uh, yes, I did. Aquí es como yes, que sí, 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 lo hice. Did you uh, watch TV? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, did I you did. check Netflix? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't, right? Did you uh, check uh, social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook? 
Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did, right? Did you check WhatsApp today? Yeah. Sure, you did. <laughs> that is like part of the day. Ah, oh, waking up, WhatsApp, chuk, 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 done. Chuk, 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 TikTok, chuk, chuk, Instagram, check. <laughs> so it's like a must. It's, it's, it is curious how that is now part of your, of your everyday. De repente a medio de usted dice, no he visto el Facebook, ¿qué ha pasado? And then you go and check, right? <laughs> What's going on on Facebook? So that's part of our everyday. Excellent, my dear class. Today, we are going to start the day with a, a couple of questions, right? We are going to start our day with a couple of questions. And here I have, I can provide and ask for personal information. And in this one, I have, for example, a 15 questions that are very simple, but they are like the questions that you share with the person when you meet them for the first time, for example. The first one is, what is your name, right? And for these ones, remember that you have to answer in a complete form. How do you answer in a complete form the first question? How do you answer the first question in a complete form? My name is. Exactly, right? My name is, and then you give your name, right? That is a complete form to answer the first question. What mm -hmm. is your last name? My last name is Lopez. My last name is, right? That is a complete form to answer, right? My last name is and then you give your last. It is very common that in Spanish, for example, we don't give complete answers. En español no damos respuestas completas. It's like, eh, ¿cuál es su nombre? Natalie. <laughs> but you don't say, ah, yo, mi, mi nombre es Natalie, mira, no, nothing. You say like, Natalie, ¿dónde vives? Uh, en San Salvador. <laughs> yo vivo en San Salvador. We, we don't do it, right? Si se fijan, nosotros, bueno, en realidad, todos los salvadoreños, todos los hispanohablantes, no damos respuestas completas. Es bien raro el que le diga, sí, en efecto, fíjate que vivo en San Salvador. No. ¿Dónde vive San Salvador? <laughs> <laughs> you go straight to the, to the answer, right? How do you spell your name? And you say like, I spell my name. And then you give letter by letter, right? And in this one, how old are you? We learned this one yesterday. I am. And then you give the years, right? I am uh, 17, 16, 40, 50 years old. Where are you from? What is the answer for this one? I am from England. I am from England, Colombia, etc. Right. What is your nationality? I am, and then you give the nationality of the country, right? Because you are not going to say, I am from Japan, I am Colombian, right? No, I am from Japan, I am Japanese, right? How are you today? I am fine good excellent fantastic so so a little bit bad a little bit sick right how are you today the next one what are your hobbies i like i like to and then you say i like to play football i like to read i like to listen to music i like to play basketball I like cooking, right? I like to, or I like with ing. I like cooking. Si hacemos, si hacemos uso de un verbo con ing al final, eh, no vamos a poner to cooking. Vea. I like to cook, or I like cooking. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is. And then you give the answer. Do you have a pet? Yes, I do. Or uh, no, I don't. Yes, I do. Or you say, no, I don't. And in this one, you can give extra information. If you tell me, do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have a cat. Its name is Manchita, for example, right? 
And then you can give extra information about this. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is, and then you say, what? Pizza, eh, pupusas, tamales, I don't know. Can you cook? Yes, I can. Oh, no, I can't. No, I can't. And what is your cell phone number? And then here we are going to omit it because we are being recorded. So I am just going to explain the question, but we are not going to ask for this. Eh, esa quizás es la única que no vamos a pra practicar durante la clase porque estamos eh, grabándola. Y obviamente por su, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Su seguridad personal. O podemos inventar uno. My phone number is, is, eh, one, two, three. <laughs> no, si hablamos al uno, dos, tres, ahorita no se puede. <laughs> ah, sorry. It is, eh, one, three, two. No, tampoco. <laughs> That's COVID number. Eh, one, one, one. Ok. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> si hablamos ahorita al uno, tres, dos, es el número COVID. Y al uno, dos, tres, el, un, el número régimen. <laughs> So that's, that's difficult. Y al 127, el número seguro social. <laughs> so, no, 111. What is your favorite subject? In this one, you say, my favorite subject. And then here you can say mathematics, science, English, English, <clears throat> social studies, um, Spanish. Teacher, uh, how do you say so, so, with, so? Subject. Subject. So Uh, what is the meaning? Uh, ¿Qué yes. significa? Eh, uh, materia. Materia. Mm -hmm. My favorite subject is, and then you click on here. Uh, todo van a decir English, yo sé. <laughs> what is your favorite color? And here, as we learned a little bit of the colors yesterday, you say, my favorite color is, and then <clears throat> you give the answer of the color. So, based on this one, right, based on the examples that we have here, let me see, I am going to make this one a little bit bigger. I am going to ask different questions to different people in the class, right? I think I have enough questions for everybody. I have, let me see, 15 questions and I have 14 participants. That's very good. So that's very nice. Let's start with Linda. Linda, um, how are you today? I, I am fine. I am fine, very good. Let's see. Let's go with Carla Stephanie. Carla Stephanie, what is your nationality? I am Salvadorian. Salvadorian. Luis Eduardo, what is your last name? My last name is Mendes. Very good. Leticia, can you cook? Yes, I can. Very good. Marta, do you have a pet? Yes, I have a pet and it's a rooster. A rooster? Yes. Really? <laughs> What is the name? Its it name is Serafin. Serafin. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Right now he's sleeping, I guess. Yes, he's, he's asleep. asleep. What a beautiful thing. Yeah. What, what color is it? Black with yellow. Wow. Colors. Wow. Send a picture of Serafin to the, to the WhatsApp okay. group. <laughs> We okay. want to meet him. Marlon, tell me, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is um, light blue. Light blue. Very good. Carla Lisette. How do you spell your first name? Um, I spell my name K-A-R-L-A. -A. Very good job. Jennifer Tatiana, what are your hobbies? My hobbies is um, uh, CrossFit. Uh -huh, doing CrossFit, nice. Yes. That's very awesome, right? I think you're very strong, right? That's very nice, nice. Jorge Alberto, 
What is your favorite animal? Dog. The dog. My favorite animal is dog. Very good. Norma Guadalupe, what is your last name? The microphone, sweetie. The microphone. Es que está apagado. Ahí está. Hey, my last name is Castro. Very good job. Maria Elena, where are you from? The microphone, Maria Elena. There you go. Um, um, <laughs> from El Salvador, right? You can say from El Salvador. Okay. From El Salvador. And you can say, I live in Ciudad Delgado, right? That can be an extra. Very good. Mr. Jose Alexander, what are your hobbies? Um, my favorite hobby is listening to music and play video games. Listening to music and play video games. Who is your favorite artist? Yo siempre. What? Siempre yo. Siempre me la pregunta. Yes. Uh, Who is your favorite no. artist? Uh, no tengo miedo. I know. I, I don't, don't know. Have... Dua Lipa, Justin Bieber, Los Temerarios, Vicente Fernández. I don't know. The no, whole variety. No, no, no. Vicente. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bad boy news. <laughs> Uh, no me corre ni <laughs> Ok, uh, ok, yo sé Lora. <laughs> Ahí está, cabales. Eh, very yo. good, very good, los hermanos Flores, that's good. Nelson Rodimiro, tell me, eh, do you have a pet? No, I don't, teacher. Oh, no, you don't. Catherine, do you have a pet? The microphone, the microphone. Do you um, have a pet, Katarin? Una mascota? Eh, yes. Yes, I. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Maria Guadalupe, tell me, what is your favorite color? Black. Black, very good. Maria Antonio, where are you from? I am from El Salvador. El Salvador. Josue Mejia, how are you today? Mr. Josue, how are you today? Se la pierde. <laughs> I think he's fine. Okay, he's going to be fine. Now, let me see. Marlon, ask me one question. Teacher, uh, what is your name? My name is Natalie. Now, uh, Marta, ask me a question. Um, teacher, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is chicken soup. Sopa de pollo. <laughs> Jorge, ask me a question. How are you today? I am very happy because I am with you. <laughs> Linda Beatriz, what is uh, your question? Where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Exactly from Santa Ana. Jennifer Tatiana. What are you hobbies? I love reading, dancing, and listening to music. Carla Lisa, thank you. Teacher, what is your last name? My last name is Monterosa. Norma, question. The microphone. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Teacher, este, how are you today? How are you today? I am very happy. I am very happy to be here. Catherine, question. Good 
do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have a very big dog. A very big dog. Like a little horse. Luis Eduardo, question. Teacher, can you cook? Yes, I can. Every, any, any type of food. Desde okay. pupusa hasta pollo navideño. Everything. Thank you. Okay, question. Marlon. Teacher, what is your favorite subject? My favorite subject? English. <laughs> That's my favorite subject. Maria Elena, question. Um, teacher, um, what are your uh, hobbies? My hobbies. Well, as I told you, I love reading, listening to music, dancing, cooking, sleeping, and teaching. <laughs> I like teaching English a lot. And Leticia, the last question. Teacher, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the cat. Okay. I love cats, but as my dog is very big, I cannot have cats because he eats them. Yeah, she's very beautiful. Solo porque se los come no tengo gato. That's the only reason. Mm -hmm. Yes, poor cats, right? Ella se come todo lo que se mueva. Jose Alexander, tell me. Ahora voy yo. Uh -huh. Who is your favorite artist? My favorite artist. You know, my favorite artist is Adele. And okay. I love Limbiskit and corn. Yeah, you know, I, I don't really know if you know who they are, right? No sé si, si conoce, si los conoce. Lim biscuit, corn. I love Eminem. Solo de él, el otro sí no lo conozco. Y nos falta ahí. Guns N' Roses. Ah, uh, sí, sí. Ok. Hay que googlear unas cuantas canciones ahí de Lim biscuit. Very good. Yeah, I like everything. I like I like a lot of, uh, of different types of music. I like Ricardo Arjona, too. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I like Marito Rivera, Hermano Flores. I love dancing, so you know, I love cumbias. Well, thank you very, thank you very much for those questions. So you see, these are very basic questions that you can ask for you to have a conversation, right? Like a normal conversation with someone, and you can say, "Hey, what's your name?" And then you can start asking for the rest of the questions, right? And you can have an interaction with a person in a normal conversation. I am going to, uh, someone was asking about the presentation. When I finish the unit, I can send the presentation for you or I can send you the parts that I am using because I have one for all the unit, right? Tengo una que cubre toda la unidad y ahí la voy a ocupar. Okay, my dear class. Right now, we are going to go over a little practice. Do you know, what these phrases that I am showing you are? ¿Saben qué son estos que les estoy mostrando? Trabalenguas. Yes, they are tongue twisters, right? They are tongue twisters and they help you a lot with your fluency and for you to feel like this, uh, uh, for you to speak a little bit faster, for you to speak without a shame, without feeling ashamed, right? And I am going to read the first one. Listen, and then you are going to practice with me. Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy, was he? Try to practice with me. Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy was, was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy, was he? Okay, let's read it complete. Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy, was he? Go ahead. Was he? <laughs> right? The idea of the tongue twister is the intonation and the rhythm. Si le pone un poquito de ritmo, se le hace más fácil. Porque si lo va tratando de leer así como Fussy, Wussy, was a bear. No, right? Say so like Fussy, Wussy, was a bear. Fussy, Wussy, had no hair. Fussy, Wussy, wasn't very fussy, was he? Go ahead. Mm. 
The next one. We have how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Remember to move your mouth to put it in the correct position for you to pronounce it correct. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Go with me. How much wood? How much wood? How much wood? Would a woodchuck chuck? A chuck chuck. No. Would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood? How much wood? Would a woodchuck chuck that wood? A woodchuck chuck chuck. Cool. If a wood chuck, wood chuck, if a wood chuck, wood chuck, wood chuck, wood wood chuck, wood chuck. Wood. Okay, let's try to do it. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Uh, 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 a wood chuck 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 wood. Okay, this is chuck. 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 Wood chuck. Chuck. Wood chuck chuck. Wood chuck chuck. Wood chuck chuck. If a. If a. If a. Wood chuck. Wood chuck chuck. Cool. Cool. Chuck. Chuck chuck. Wood. 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 How much wood? Wood. A wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Read it again. Leamolo de nuevo. How much wood? How much wood? Would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Chuck 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 chuck. Could chuck wood, right? It's a little bit, a little bit challenging, a little bit challenging, but we can do it. I have another one that it's a little bit easier. It says, if two witches watch two watches, which witch would watch which watch? If two witches watch two watches, which witch would watch which watch? It is like, what, what, what? If two witches, <laughs> if, if two, two witches, witches, if two watch, witches, watch, 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 two, two watches, 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 which witch, which witch, would. Who watch, 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 which, 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 watch, watch, watch. Okay. Si dos brujas vieran dos relojes, ¿cuál bruja viera cuál reloj? So that's like the, the translation. The tongue twisters do not have a lot of meaning, right? No tienen como mucho significado, como Pablito clavó un clavito en la calva de un cablito. Calvito. <laughs> If two witches watch two watches, which witch will watch which watch? Go ahead. If two, if, if if two, two witches watch two watches, which witch will watch which watch? Okay. Which one do you consider the easiest tongue twister? ¿Cuál está más fácil de los tres? The first one? Pussy Wussy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the witches. The last, the last one. 
if the yeah, witches the watch the watches, which which would watch which watch the which which, 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 which a lot of <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's start with Fussy Wussy. One, two, three. Pussy, pussy, what's a beer? 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 Fussy Wussy was a beer, right? In this case, it was like this. Right? <laughs> this was Fussy Wussy, right? Yay! Por eso siempre andaba bien Wussy. Yay! Fussy Wussy was a bear. A bear. Bear. Right? When you talk bear. about the bear, right, for sure, okay. you are talking about this one, right? Let me look for one. You're looking for a bear, right? This is a bear. And if you say a bird, with the a bird, it's a little animal, right? Also, that flies, but it's like this, right? This is a bird. A bird, beer, okay. bear, right? Bear. So, Fussy yeah. Wussy was a bear. The next one, one, two, three, number two, how much? One, two, and three, go. How much good How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? <laughs> you have to sing it. If not, it would be difficult. And the last one. Okay, class. One, two, and three. If the witches watch to watch as which, which will watch which watch. And there you go. This is, it's very helpful. They help you a lot for you to untwist your tongue, right? Para que me desenreden la lengua, para que no les dé pena mover la boca al momento de hablar, right? So it helps a lot. So I am going to share some more. I have uh, like 15 more for you to check and for you to see, right? Yesterday we were talking about colors, right? We were talking about the different colors and we were talking about the different colors that you like, the colors that you don't like, a color that you hate. And you told me yellow teacher, orange, that you didn't like them. Some of you didn't like black, right? But it is, it's nice. We were also talking about the different uh, basic colors, right? And how to intensify them with uh, light green or dark green, light and dark for you to make it softer and darker. And for sure, this is going to take us, this was the question that I was asking you yesterday, to the pieces of clothing, right? Talking about clothing, we have a whole variety, right? We have a whole variety of things. Things that you wear for work, things that you wear for leisure, things that you wear in your everyday, right? But the most common parts of clothing that we have are these ones that I have here on the pictures. What pieces of clothing can you see on the pictures? ¿Qué piezas de ropa pueden ver en las fotos? They have little names. Jeans, jeans, shorts, jeans, shorts uh -huh. sweater, booty, jacket, uh, jacket, 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 sneakers, jacket, 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 because teacher, teacher, teacher is this one, right? The one that you're seeing here. This is teacher. The other one is t-shirt, right? T-shirt. And in there, for sure, you have a, a shirt that it's formal, right? Shirt es una camisa, shirt. pero formal. And the next one that you have there, it's tie, una corbata. The next one is belt, cincho, right? Cincho. The next one, jacket right? Una chaqueta. Pants, 
are formal, right? Pants. Because the ones that are informal are jeans or joggers, mm. right? Shoes, right? It's in, in general, right? Shoes. Coat es un abrigo, right? Coat. Pero que va sobre la ropa. Coat. The next one, for the ladies, you have blouse, a scarf. That it's like a bufanda or pañuelo. A skirt, falda. High heels. The heel is that part of your foot, right? Esa parte del pie que, tiene, que tenemos ahí, ese se llama heel. Entonces se llaman high heels porque levantan el talón. High heels. Oh, high heels. <laughs> high heels. Tacón es alto. Yes. Raincoat es un abrigo, pero para lluvia. You have dress, hat, gloves, t-shirt, cap, es gorra, right? Cap. Then you have jeans, shorts, socks, sneakers. Sneakers are the uh, sports shoes that you can use with casual clothes, right? Son, eh, son eh, tenis que podemos ocupar con la ropa casual, right? So those are sneakers. And pajamas and swimsuits, right? Swimsuits are trajes de baño. So my question is right now. What pieces of clothes are you wearing today? ¿Qué de todas estas piezas de ropa que están aquí eh, están usando ahorita? Check on it. And you can tell me blouse, shorts, eh, jeans, mm, pajamas. I don't know who is wearing pajamas already. T-shirt, right? T-shirt. T-shirt. What else Sweater. are you wearing? Shirt, good. Socks. Socks, good for the cold weather, right? Para el frío. Socks. Sweater. Socks. Sweater. What else? Joggers. Joggers, good. Joggers. Socks. 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 I, I send you the, the link for the vocabulary there. And I will send you some more. I have more uh, vocabulary on clothes, right? You're wearing socks. Who is wearing a sweater? Who is wearing a sweater? Hey, there you have Martita is wearing a sweater. Also, Jorge. <laughs> they are cold. Who is wearing uh, sandals? Sandals. Gina, Chancleta, <laughs> Linda, very good, sandals, good. Who is wearing, um, Jose Alexander, yes? Uh, cuando dijo sandals, eh, hace en general, no solo para mujer. No, it's in general, right? In some cases when you uh, say sandals, okay. it's like sandalias, right? But I have uh, the explanation. For example, here, we also have this one. Flip-flops are the ones that you can put the finger inside, right? Las chancletitas, pero las de meter el dedito. Those are flip-flops, right? And also, uh, you can have like the sandals, they are in general, right? Flip-flops are more commonly used for uh, las chancletitas, de meter el dedo, right? And also, the now that Crocs are very famous, the Crocs, Oh. Yes, it's. I think it's like this, something like this. It's crux, something like that. So crux. Los hoy son sumamente famosos, right? That are the ones, the plastic shoes, right? Let's see. Who is wearing shorts? Shorts. Mr. Marlon. Good. Mr. Luis. Very good. Who is wearing? Who is wearing, let me see, uh, who is wearing jeans? Whoa. Jeans, very good. So in this case, when you ask and answer this type of questions, I'm going to go to the next slide and you use this form of a structure. And it's this one. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? ¿Qué estás usando? Right? What are you wearing? Entonces, ahí podemos ir ocupándolo. I am wearing, mm -hmm. right? And then you use the color 
and the object, right? I am wearing a white blouse. I am wearing black pants and black shoes, right? I am wearing flip flops. I am not wearing a coat. I am not wearing a jacket. So if you ask me right now, teacher, what are you wearing? I am wearing a light blue blouse, blue jeans and black shoes, right? That is what I am wearing. What are you wearing? And I need you to write this. Meanwhile, I call the attendance. Necesito que escriban sus oraciones de lo que están usando con el color y el objeto. Y voy a pasar a lista. Martita, dígame. ¿Cómo decimos cuando estamos usando una prenda que tiene muchos colores? A multicolor. Ah. Multicolor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am wearing a multicolor, uh, multicolor pants, for example, or a multicolor blouse. Uh, o a colorful. Yes, Mr. Jose. Eh, para decir estoy usando shorts, no se utilizaría I am wearing shorts. I am wearing no. shorts. Only like that. Okay. Because it's plural. No podemos decir a shorts. I am wearing shorts. Okay. okay. Pueden, ir escribiendo, <laughs> pueden ir escribiendo yeah. sus oraciones en lo que llamo la lista. Okay. And solo recuerden decirme present or here. Let's see, my dear class, I am going to open my Excel for the list, okay? And let's see. Okay, okay. Let me just move this a little bit. And I am going to call your names. Okay. Here I go. I am going to start with, let me see. I am going to stop this one for a second. But voy a dejar de compartir un segundito. Ya se los pongo de vuelta. ¿Cuántas oraciones te digo? All the ones that you are wearing. Todos los objetos que usted ande usando. Ahí depende de lo que cargue puesto. Okay, let's go with eh, Jennifer Tatiana. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alberto. Present. Jose Alexander. Present. Josué Mejía. Mr. Josué. Josué, Josué. Josué Mejía. Está aquí, pero no me contesta. Hoy, el venado, el venado. Josué, thank you. Eh, Juan Antonio? No. Juan Diego? Let's go with Carla Lisette. Present. Thank you. Carla Nicole? No. Carla Stephanie? Present. Thank you. Catherine Judith? Present. Catherine Paola. Catherine Paola Portillo. Catherine Paola Rodríguez, sorry. Oh, Katia Dalila Barrera. Katia Dalila. No. Eh, Leticia Aide Flores. Present. Thank you. Linda Beatriz López. Present. Lucía Fernanda Mancía. Lucía Fernanda, se me perdió. Luis Eduardo Méndez. I'm here. Manuel Alfredo. Eh, María Elena Galdames. Present. Thank you. María Guadalupe Martínez. Present. Thank you. María Teresa Murillo. María Teresa. Mario Antonio Delgado. Present. Thank you. Marlon José Mendoza. Present. Marta Jacqueline Hernández. Present. Thank you. Miguel Leonidas Avaloni. No. Nelson Rodemiro Pineda. Present. Noemi Vigaí Sánchez. Norma Guadalupe Castro. 
present. Thank you. Patricia Maricela Morales. Rodrigo Antonio Alvarado. Y Rosalba Coca. There you go. Uy, se nos perdieron un montón. Ok. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, yeah, they are perfect. Okay, my dear class, do you have your sentences? I am going to share the screen again for you to see it. And this one is going to be according to the objects that you are wearing, right? According to the object that you are wearing. In that case, remember that the color is first and then the object. If the object is plural, you don't say a or an. Who can give me the examples? Quien ya lo tenga, me puede levantar la mano y me comparte los ejemplos. Leticia, go ahead. Okay. I am wearing a gray t-shirt, pink pant, and white sandal. Very good. I am not wearing boots. I am not wearing a square. Very good. I am not wearing boots. I am not wearing a skirt. Very nice. A sweater, right? Carla Stephanie. And then Carla Lisette. I am wearing a multicolor sweater. I'm wearing gray socks. I'm wearing purple pajamas. And I wearing red shoes. Okay, you're wearing red shoes and purple pajamas. You're very comfortable. <laughs> That's very beautiful. Carla Lisette. I am wearing a red t-shirt. T-shirt. Uh -huh. T-shirt. I am wearing a black skirt and I am not wearing a glove. I am not wearing gloves because Glow. it's plural. Glow. I am not wearing gloves. Very good. I am wearing, wearing, right? Marta, go ahead. I am wearing a red sweater with a multicolor jogger and black socks. Very nice, very comfy. Jose Alexander. I am wearing shorts. I am wearing a blue t-shirt. I'm not wearing a sweater. I'm not wearing gloves. Very beautiful sentences. I am not wearing a sweater. I'm not wearing gloves. Mr. Jorge Alberto, go ahead. I am wearing a gray sweater and a blue jeans uh, glasses. I am not wearing a scarf, but I want one. <laughs> you are not wearing a scarf, but you want one. That's very good, right? And pants, right? You say and uh, jeans, right? Jeans in general, you don't say ah. Linda Beatriz, go ahead. I am wearing a pink blouse and I, I am wearing black pants and red sandals. I am not wearing sweater. I am not wearing cap. Very good. I am not wearing a sweater. I am not wearing a cap. Very good. Thank you. Mr. Luis, go ahead. I am wearing a black shirt. I am wearing gray, a gray, a gray to cheat, to cheat. T-shirt, T-shirt. T-shirt, T-shirt. I am not wearing shoes. You are not wearing shoes. You are free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you say, I am wearing a black T-shirt. I am wearing shorts. No, a shorts, right? I am okay. wearing shorts. Good. Todos los plurales no llevan a en este caso. Good. Let's see. Uh, Nelson. I am wearing shorts. I am wearing a dark turquoise uh, shirt. No, me trabé ahí, teacher. <laughs> a dark, era... dark turquoise. Es, es, porque Ajá. es oscuro. <laughs> Ajá. So he said, I'm, yeah, wearing, I'm... I'm wearing a turquoise t shirt. T-shirt. Uh, I'm not wearing pants. I'm not wearing a sweater. I am not wearing pants, I am not wearing a sweater, but you're wearing shorts, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Mr. Marlon, go ahead. I am wearing a black short. A Navy. black short. A black, black short, short. No, no, no le pongamos a. Solo I am uh, wearing black shorts. Wearing black short. 
navy t-shirt. I am not wearing a scarf. I am not wearing a jacket. Very good job. Maria Guadalupe. I am wearing a light blue t-shirt and blue jeans and blue jeans and black skirt. I am no scarf. I am not wearing a scarf. I am not wearing a scarf. Very good, Miss Norma. Go ahead. I am wearing a black t-shirt. Black t-shirt. 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 I am wearing a jeans. I am wearing jeans. Uh, jeans. No, a uh, jeans. No. I am wearing sandals. I am not wearing a jacket. Okay. I am not wearing a jacket, right? I am not wearing a jacket. Very good job. Excellent. Who's missing? ¿Quién se me queda? Que no ha participado. Jennifer, Catherine. Uh, I, I, I am not wearing multicolor pants. I am wearing t-shirt blue. Blue t-shirt. I am wearing sandals color green. Green sandals. Green sandals. Green sandals. Color va adelante y después va el nombre. Ah. Green sandals. Very good. Catherine and then Maria Elena. Uh, I am wearing gray sweater. Uh -huh. I am wearing blue pants. I am not wearing shorts. You are not wearing shorts. Very good. Thank you. Maria Elena. Uh, I am wearing is blue, black, I don't know how to say it. Black blouse. Black, black blouse. blouse. Uh -huh. um, I am, I don't know, falda, I don't know, but I don't know how to what color is it? Falda? Blue skirt. Uh, blue. Blue, blue skirt. Blue skirt. skirt. Uh -huh. I am uh, sandalias. No sé, no me I am wearing sandals. I am wearing sandals. Blue. Blue sandals. Siempre el color va primero. Blue sandals. Okay. I am. I am wearing siempre es así, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. I am wearing blue sandals. I am wearing blue sandals. Okay, very good job. Am I missing someone? Se me queda alguien. Se me queda alguien sin practicar. Cinco, cuatro, tres. María Antonio. Uh, I, I am wearing a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I am wearing uh, shoes, white. White shoes. White shoes. I am not wearing a jacket. Very good. I am not wearing a jacket. So my dear class, you see, in this case, this is the way we use it. Important things, okay? Cosas importantes para recordar. Si es plural, no le ponemos a. Por ejemplo, en este caso, tenemos black pants, black shoes. No dice a black pants, a black shoes. No. A white blouse. Yes. Porque blouse es singular. Ok. Y entonces ahí si ponemos sí. A. A white blouse. Una blusa blanca. Right. I am wearing a white blouse. I am wearing black pants, black shoes. Flip flops is plural. Right. I am not wearing a coat. A coat. It's singular. A jacket. Singular. Okay, that is something important. And the color is first and the object follows, right? First the color and then the object, right? It's not, uh, we don't have to confuse that one, right? That is important for us to remember, right? That we don't have to confuse the color and the object. I am going to show you some pictures. Let me get them. Por aquí las tengo. Let me show you some pictures. And you're going to tell me a little bit of what the people are wearing, okay? Here, let me just get them. Porque tengo un mi duende que juega con mis fotos, con mis tarjetas. And here it is. Tengo un duendecillo que me roba las tarjetas. Okay, 
What is he wearing? He's wearing a red t-shirt. A red shirt. Las formales son yeah. shirts. Uh -huh. He's wearing oh. a red shirt and blue t-shirt. And a blue t-shirt. Blue t-shirt. Very good. What is he wearing? He wearing a T-shirt. A tie. A white coat. Tie. I wear. Okay. Let me just. I am going to make my camera bigger. There you go. He's wearing. Uh, a yellow, yellow jacket. Yellow jacket. Multicolor tie. A multicolor tie. Blue shirt. Blue. And a light blue light shirt. T-shirt. Light blue t-shirt. Light blue t-shirt. And here, what is the doctor wearing? Uh, a wearing a purple. A jacket. A jacket. A purple or a blue blouse. And the sixth person, pajamas. <laughs> what about the boy? He's wearing a tie. A tie? A green tie, right? A green tie. He's wearing a gray tie. blue. Gray pants. Brown. Brown shoes. Brown shoes. Brown shoes. Right? She's, he's wearing brown shoes. Brown shoes. What about her? She's wearing a red dress. She's wearing a red dress. Very good. What about this one? <laughs> Wait. She's wearing a dress. Pink high heels. Shoes. Pink high heels. Good. He's wearing a jacket, a shirt, pants. The jacket. He's wearing a brown shoes. He's wearing a brown shoes. A brown shoes or brown shoes? Brown shoes. He's wearing brown shoes. What about him? He's wearing a. He's wearing a sweet. A swim suit. A swim suit. Swim suit. Okay. And what about this one? He's wearing a coat. He's wearing a coat. He's wearing a coat. He's wearing a coat. Yeah, they, well, the hat is green, but as I have a screen, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why she's wearing a hat, a coat, a scarf, and gloves. And gloves right? She's wearing gloves. <laughs> and let me see. What about him? He wearing. He wearing. Do you know the name of this one? Overall. Overall, and do you know what it's called? Overall, saben por qué se llama overall? Because okay. sobre over, todo el cuerpo, over, over all the body. That's why over, it's called all. overall. <laughs> overall. Over, and, over, over. and he's wearing a red sweater. A red sweater. He he red wears red hat. Red and a red hat. hat. Very good. And he's wearing a red hat. And let me see. What about this one? She she's wearing gray she's blouse. Wearing gray blouse. Blouse. Gray blouse. Gray blouse. Gray blouse. And, and blue jeans. Gray, blue uh, okay, gray blouse gray. and blue jeans, right? Blue jeans. Very good. Let's see here. Let's continue with the next one I have here. My friend. They have a lot of clothing on. They wear 
They are wearing. They are wearing. They are wearing. Sweater. Sweater. Hats. Hats. A shirt. They are wearing many things. Gloves. Gloves. Jeans. Scarf. Scarf. And I think pants. that's it, right? And pants. Gloves. Very good. So, do you see? This is the way we use to express what people are wearing, what objects we have, and the colors that we are wearing, right? That is uh, the way we do it. So, tomorrow, we are going to continue practicing a little bit on this. And for sure, you are going to describe a little bit of what you are wearing in class. Okay, my dear students. Así que mañana nos van a modelar, así que no hay que en, en short. <laughs> you are going to show the class what you are wearing, ¿ok? Mañana okay. si le van a mostrar a la clase lo que cargan, ahí si quieren poner elegantes, pues se ponen elegantes también para mostrarle a la clase. Si se pueden poner ahí un, un vestido loco, se lo pueden poner para describirlo. De okay. todo. Suéter, gorro, de todo. Ustedes van a ser mis imágenes vivientes el día de mañana. Have a beautiful <laughs> class and have a beautiful okay. night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next topic. Have a beautiful yeah. night. Thank you. Bye, my class. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.